One useful kind of field in crystal reports is the parameter field. It takes a little prep work, but allows flexibility by way of user input. This means one report can do more for the user. A basic parameter field can be set up to allow selection of, say, a country's sales data in this report here. We would start by creating the setup for the field. We can right-click Parameter Fields over here in the Field Explorer, click on New, and get into the dialog box. The name of the field should reflect what it's for. In this case, a name like, oh, say, Country Choice would be a good one. The type of information is string, that would be text. That'll be the names of the countries, so that works for this case. Static over here means that the list of values won't change, at least not frequently. So we can leave it as it is, don't have to worry about our constant updates. What we next need to do is get the country names into this box, and to do that we go to the value field here, click the drop down, and in the table of orders, the thing we want to pull information from is the field called Ship Country. So give that a click. And then right below there, in the Actions dropdown, what we want to do is append all the database values from that field so we can use the names of the countries here. We also need to make one other minor alteration. We need to scroll through the list of value options and change the setup here for allowing custom values. Why? Because we don't want users entering countries that aren't in the data. So we change the drop down here from true to false. Then we can OK out of this box. And the basic parameter field is ready. In order to wire it into the report, kind of like wiring in a light switch, what we have to do is go up to the select expert, bring that up, and add the choice of filter which is what a parameter field does, at least part of the time, by clicking New and scrolling down through the table of orders, and as before, finding Ship Country, giving it a click, and clicking OK. And then we have to specify that we're not just going to use any old value. I'm going to click the drop-down and specify is equal to, and then over here in the other drop-down, we can see that right off the bat, thank goodness, we have the country choice field that we created. So whichever country we choose is going to be the country whose numbers we see. We can even do the hide formula, show formula, and make sure that the code for the filtering here gets properly updated. And when we OK out of here, we immediately get the enter values dialog box asking us to enter our country choice click the drop down and pick any country we like. We can go to Canada for example, click OK, and here we see the data for Canada. Now if we want to know which country we're looking at the data for, which would of course be helpful, we can go back to Design View and we can actually go up here to our title, double click or otherwise get in there and type a little bit of extra text, order shipped for their space, and then drag the country choice field right into the appropriate spot in our title. If we then go back to the preview, we can see here's the name of the country. If we want to refresh and try a different country, click the refresh button, as we might imagine. Prompt for new parameter values, click OK. Choose a different country, say, just for example, Switzerland. Click OK again, and here's the data for Switzerland. One more thing, though. What if we want to allow the user to go back to looking at the data for all countries? Well, there is a way. We have to actually do two pieces of setup. One, I'm going to go over to the country choice parameter field and edit it. I'm going to add something to the list of values. I'm going to scroll to the bottom of the list and find click here to add item, as we see, give a click, and type the word all. I can uh, resort by value, go alphabetical, however I want to do this is fine. Click OK, and then go into the record select expert, 
and make a change to the code here. Now I'm going to go to the formula editor to make this a little easier to read and I've already taken the liberty of calling up a little bit of code which I'm going to paste in here. I'm going to replace the initial bit about the ship country equals country choice by pasting this in here. And if we examine this piece of code, if we take a close look at what this is doing, it's actually not that complicated. We're saying if the country choice is all, and this could be uppercase, lowercase, doesn't matter as long as it's spelled correctly, then orders.ship country should be like what is this here? An asterisk. And the asterisk is the wildcard character, meaning that if we choose all in the list, we want to see any country whose name has at least one character in it. Well, that'll be all the countries. So we've found a way to specify we want to go back to the data for all countries at once. Else, if we don't do the one thing, then what we want to do is go with whichever country was chosen in the country choice parameter field. So if we choose all, then show me all, otherwise show me the one country. As usual, we can check for errors. Click the X2, shouldn't be any errors here, that's good. Save and close, of course, once we're finished. Come back here, we can see that the code is updated. We could have pasted the code in here, but of course the formula editor makes it a little easier to read. Click OK over here, and if we refresh the data and hit the refresh button, prompt for new values, click OK, same routine, click the drop down for the country choice, we can go up here and click all now, and then click OK, and here we have the data for all of our countries once more. This change means that the user gets a slightly more consistent way of selecting a result which means the parameter field makes using the report easier as well as more flexible. And other variations of this technique are possible.